And I was like, I have a magic wand. And you're all that at the same time. <laughs> That's you're not all that at the same time. The uh, trine is this magical object that lets you sort of change characters as you go. So when you're trying to solve puzzles and save the world, you can change a different character. You have different things. You can see here's my, my girl now going around with her grappling stuff. And uh, it's kind of fun. It's a beautiful world. It's completely rendered. The graphics are beautiful and smooth. And again, this is something that's just amazing for me to see this rendered all locally right here. That's amazing. And so this is, we're looking at a television that's, um, this is the latest smart television from LG. That's correct. And all, we, all we, we've done is we've taken the grid receiver client and uh, uh, they've ported that grid receiver client to their television, and as a result, once you plug in Ethernet, um, you can stream the video game that's processing on one of these GPUs on a grid server. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what I love about it is that you know you get access to all these games instantly on a TV. But you know, I'm sure, like me, you know, you, you travel, right? You can't take your games with you all the time. You have saved games, like I'm doing now, I'm saving this game. And one of the things that I like to do is, you know, after I'm done playing my game, if I go on the road, like CS. I don't have access to these games. Now, now this is cloud computing. Well, it is cloud computing. The thing this that I like cloud computing. So, so uh, what could you do with cloud computing? Yeah. Well, the thing I like about the cloud computing is that if I bring a device with me, like my Asus Transform Prime, I can easily launch the grid application. Now, go go back. I think that they didn't change the uh, the view fast enough. Go back to so this is this is a transport. This is now an Android tablet, and there's a little client on there called Nvidia Grid. That's correct. Right now, this could be this could be a, this could be the Transformer Prime. This could be the Nexus Seven. It could be a Galaxy it could be Tab. Tab. It HTC. could be a, right HTC Absolutely. One X. It could be uh, it could uh, frankly it could be an Xbox. It could be anything. Right, it has anything with a, with enough, and it doesn't have to be very much. It's just an video at the end of the day, yeah. right? So you can do lots of different devices. So you launch this little client, and, and magically, amazingly, exact same UI shows up. This is the same UI that we showed. That All the games that I had over there, I have over there. And I think what makes it really amazing, as I said, is if I go on the road, and I always try to, you know, I want to do the right thing, and I, I try not to get into trouble on the road. If you want to play games, it's a great secret. You know, don't get into trouble when you play games on the road. Then. And you can see here where I was in the game, I'll just go ahead and I'm going to go to single player and I'm going to load that save game I had just a second ago. And you'll see that I'll pick up playing exactly where I was in the Oh, no way. Uh-huh. All right. Simple guy when it comes to things, and uh, I like bowlers and rocks and flaming swords. So this is this is this is fantastic. So first of all, you're getting a graphics experience. You're getting a 3D gaming experience that isn't possible on even a Transformer Prime today. But the fact that you have the game in the cloud, you get all the same benefits that you would have had uh, with Kindle Books or absolutely any of your cloud applications. Just wherever like you left off, off, you pick up. Absolutely, like you can pick up your videos, watch them anywhere you want. You pick up your games, play them wherever you want on any device. Oh, that's terrific. All right, congratulations. Thank you.